I'm going to draw a nice big letter U and I'm drawing with a marker so you can see what I'm doing but I would recommend drawing with a pencil in case you make a mistake you can erase it really easily uh, draw a little line across and come back a bit and then a nice big arch and that'll give you a baseball cap um, I'm going to draw some hair too now when you're drawing your portrait if you don't want to draw in this retro cartoony Nate Williams style you don't have to. If you want to do a realistic portrait, maybe a pencil drawing, or if you want to do a painting or even a sculpture, maybe you want to do a drawing on your computer, those are all perfectly 100% acceptable. Remember, you're the artist, so you're making choices. I just happen to like this fun cartoony style, so I'm going to play around with it. You can draw along with me, or you can watch the video, and you can come back later and draw. It's up to you. As I start to add words to my self-portrait, I want to think about the words I'm choosing and how they reflect me. So my first word is going to be teach because I'm a teacher. And how does that reflect me and the world around me? Well, I do believe that teaching does make the world a better place. So I'm thinking about how can I improve my world and what gifts do I have that I can give for helping other people and myself have a good life. So I'm going to do art as well because that's one of the things that I enjoy and love to share. And you'll notice in my teach word and on my art word that I'm adding little images also. If you don't like to use words in your art and you just want to fill your portrait with little symbols and images of things that represent you, that's fine too. So I've got an apple for teaching and a paintbrush for art. And those of you who know me know I have a couple of rescue dogs. You may have seen them in some of my videos before. And so I'm doing a little section for just my dogs because I feel like um, having a dog, owning a dog, and rescuing a dog, that does make the world a better place. It makes a better world, the world a better place for me too because they provide me a lot of love and companionship. Remember as you're making your own portrait that it's a reflection of you. So yours won't necessarily look like mine and that's good we're all individuals and we all have different things that we bring to this world I feel like I have a lot of caring in my heart and so I'm gonna add caring there as one of the um, characteristics that I feel represents me and of course I'm adding little hearts as symbols too um, I love to garden and I think it's good to grow your own food if you can and so I'm adding a little tomato because my tomatoes are um, in my garden right now and I've been enjoying those and then the last thing I want to add inside my face is the word stories because if you're one of my students from the past you know that I love a good scary story and if you're one of my new students just wait I'll be telling some scary stories later probably in October so I'm going to add the word stories because I love to tell and write stories and I think telling stories makes people happy I think it helps people relax and it makes it fun and so that's one of the ways that I can um, change the world too is through my stories and not everything on your portrait has to be about changing the world some of it can just be things you like and what I'm doing down here is I'm making my little body look like a block of cheese because guess who likes cheese this girl so for the rest of the drawing I want to add some background details so the stars that I'm adding are um, stars that I see in the paintings of one of my absolute favorite artists named Henry Matisse. This is how he makes stars. He makes imperfect stars and I love that. And then I'm going to add some spirals because spirals are my favorite line and they also remind me of another artist I like named Alexander Calder. So I'm putting some secret messages in the background by adding images that remind me of my favorite artists. One other thing I love to do is travel and I'm going to add a little sunset going over the water because um, it's fun to travel over the ocean to new countries and learn new things and it's fun sometimes just to go to the beach and so traveling is part of the thing that I love and I have to say if you're traveling you're learning so that's it that's my finished drawing with some color um, I can't wait to see what your portraits look like make sure you upload them to our community bulletin board so we can all share um, what is special about ourselves with each other. Take care.